good morning ladies and gentlemen as you guys know if you've been on this channel a long time I love doing these little adventure trips with food travel sight sounds so I've been wanting to do something in January didn't have time I never have any time people I'm run ragged by you people Making these videos for you people, so you people don't get angry at me, people. Okay, Ken. Just be honest. You didn't want to do this travel in January because you couldn't figure out how to do videos that wouldn't screw up your carnivore diet. Even though you screwed that up multiple times at home as you just couldn't avoid ultra-processed fast food that has hidden carbs that you were too lazy to research the nutritional facts for. So, uh, I really wanted to get out and get something done for you guys, do a nice little series like this. And just about that time, I got an amazing message from one of my amazing subscribers and friends. We all know Ken does multiple takes for most scenes in his videos. And the fact that you went with subscriber and then after a brief pause added in friends, I could tell this wasn't going to be good. If it were me, I'd have referred to the person as a friend first and a subscriber second. But when Ken says subscriber, he means someone who opened up their wallet and dumped it all onto the table for him to take and add to his slush fund as he said during his live streams. Who have been watching my videos for a very long time, always participated in all the live streams, and it was Rye Nirvana is his channel name. His real name is Ryan, and he just happens to live in Jacksonville. And he said uh, he is going to be having a surgery soon, and I'll let, you, I'll let him talk to you guys about that if he is wanting to do that. The fact that he brings up Ryan is going to be having surgery, but then immediately stops and says he'll let Ryan explain it if he wants, well that leads me to believe that Ken is once again exploiting someone, as I suspect it is a I don't have permission so perhaps I should shut my mouth situation. We have seen Ken do this many many times over the years. Usually he ends up pressuring the person into divulging the information so he can exploit it. And uh, he just said, I've, I've always wanted to meet you. I hope someday you make it down to Florida. And so I booked the trip and said, uh, I'm, I'm coming down. I'm going to shoot a bunch of videos. If you want to get together, that's great. If not, that's fine. If you want to get together, great. If not, that's fine. What in the actual heck, Ken? Why do you insist on saying this in any of your stories that involve other people? You always go the route of guilting someone into doing what you want. That is what you just told us. That's fantastic of you, doofus. And he said yes. So, I have his address. He wants to drive me around. Uh, so he has a charger, I believe, as well. On a scale of 100 to 100, how jealous do you think Ken is of Ryan actually having a muscle car? We all know that is one thing Ken has said he always wanted, but instead the guy who claims to be an ultra-Canadian goes out and buys multiple foreign vehicles in the Volkswagen assless and Sichuan and of course the mercedes sprinter and uh, let's go pick up ryan and uh we're gonna go to one of his favorite places to eat are you guys ready let's go meet ryan <laughs> guys we have got ryan in the car how you doing buddy doing good ken how you doing buddy all right again one of the reasons i came down to jacksonville uh is to meet up with 
Rye Nirvana, which is his channel name. Uh, he doesn't do any YouTube videos at the moment. Not really. Do, no. You don't have anything on your channel? Just video game stuff. Just video game stuff, if you want to check that out. Ah, what an amazing friend you are, Ken. You don't even know if Ryan actually does anything on YouTube, so when you try to pimp out his channel, surprisingly, I might add, you had to keep asking him. Then, at the end, we get the eyebrow raise that you typically do when you don't give a damn about what you are discussing. Meanwhile, poor Ryan was sitting there looking quite anxious and probably scared into submission as he's likely seen that uncut and raw video from the toppers video you did years ago where you went ballistic on a camera falling because it clearly didn't do what you wanted it to do. But uh, every now and then I want to do a little micro trip where I go out and make a whole bunch of videos in one little trip, go home and then spend weeks editing them. Uh, and I was looking forward to doing something coming up. And then I got a message from this guy saying that uh, he is going to be having a surgery. And uh, he said, you know, one day I'd love to meet you. So that made my mind up right then on the spot. That was the moment when Ken realizes there was an angle that he could exploit for his benefit at Ryan's expense. I'm sure, as I aforementioned, that he likely had not brought up with Ryan the possibility of his willingness to discuss such a personal matter. He couldn't just decide to visit a fan, or friend, that had supported him for years. He had to have a reason that made financial sense. What an a-hole. That I was going to come down to Jacksonville, make a bunch of videos, meet Ryan, take him out to lunch uh, to a place that he loves. And we went through a few different restaurants. Oh yeah, a couple of different yeah. ones. <laughs> it's been a process. And uh, did you want to talk about your surgery at all or? Yeah, I gotta okay. have, um, I gotta possibly, most likely gotta have a double hip replacement. Um, I was born with a deformity where my hips are oval shaped and not round. Not round. So yeah. I gotta take the whole hip out and replace it with a titanium Okay. thing i guess and i'll be good as new after that robo ryan robo ryan that's right yeah, you're right <laughs> ken tries to be personable and it just doesn't resonate that way it comes off as cold and cringe as he really doesn't care it was just the cleverest thing that his feeble little mind could come up with and ryan was nice enough to give him a half-hearted chuckle <laughs> They haven't put set a surgery yet. You're waiting for a slot, right, to get in? Yep. Okay. I got a final MRI I got to do on the 8th, and then once that's done, uh, then we get a date for surgery, and we get an action plan, and we'll get on the road feeling better. And and part of the surgery is a little bit risky or something? Yeah, because my health is not is not where it should be right now. Um, there is a risk of that, you know, I might not make it after the surgery, but you know, it's, it's, well, there's always a risk. There's a risk in, in any surgery, yeah. right? But, but, uh, yeah, as soon as he, he sent me a nice little message through messenger and, and, uh, Ryan made, made up my mind where I was going to go, uh, this month, uh, for making videos for you guys. Y'all are noticing how he keeps saying he was going to Florida to make a bunch of videos and then his secondary reason was to exploit Ryan, right? Not that he was coming to meet his friend first and foremost. It was to film, film, film for all the people. Ryan's exploitation was just a happy bonus for him. And uh, I wish you well. Thank you. I hope hope this surgery goes well for you and everything. But uh, in, in his message, he goes, I hope one day I get to meet you. And I'm like, guess what, buddy? What are you doing Monday the 5th? He's like, why? And I'm like, I'm coming down. So, That's awesome. Thank uh, you, man. I not a problem. It. I needed to do a trip, and Ryan made the decision as to where I was going to go. So I was already going on a trip. I didn't know where I was going to go. Ryan made that decision for us. <laughs> Hey, Ryan, I'm coming down to exploit the crap out of you whether you like it or not. And where are we today? We are at Island Wing Company. And you said when this first opened, you could not get
get a parking spot anywhere near this place. Nowhere. I couldn't even eat here the first day because this place was just a bad house. And you think there possibly is more than one location? There could be more than one location just yeah. because of how good it's doing. Okay. So, but so, it's really good. Before we go in there and eat, I just want to give you this. Uh, oh, thank you. So, this is our, uh, our mega bundle sticker and uh, magnet uh, thing that uh, you can get on our website. But I, I wanted to, to treat Ryan to the, the mega bundle. Thank you, buddy. It's not a problem. <laughs> it comes like, mega bundle. And so it's got tons of, oh, like it's got. Uh, My favorite award. There you clean go. Clean plate award. A clean plate award. You can put that <laughs> on your fridge. That's a magnet. Plus, I think there's a sticker as well. Bring your hunger. Bring your hunger. Definitely brought my hunger today. Yeah, good. Bring your hunger. And then our logo. I think one's a sticker and one's a magnet. Cheese pull. Cheese pull. <laughs> and that's the sticker one. I love it. Yeah. This is great. And that's the... Nice ooh la la. Ooh la la. And that's a magnet put up. So when people come to visit you, you need to say, hey, scan that and watch Ken, Ken Domic. <laughs> <laughs> And then we got another bigger one. And then we got yeah. rusty parking only. Rusty parking only. Good old rusty. And Good then old rusty. And then moose. There you go, buddy. Thank you, Ken. You I appreciate it, buddy. Just don't put them on your beautiful car. No. No. <laughs> Nothing's going on in this car. No. <laughs> that's, a little, that's a little note that you got from Carol and I. Thank you. Ooh, wow. Or ooh la la, as Ken might say. A $25.99 Sticker and magnet pack is the gift that he gives to his uh, longtime super fan. Basically, he just wants him to pimp out his channel. <laughs> That's all that that is. Everything has uh, his website link on it. So we're just gonna do like a quick little tour around this beautiful car, and uh, then we'll go eat. So check out this beast beautiful car 6.1 hemi there's no license plate on the front so we're good here look at that although this is you said there's only one car like that in this whole city yep there's so only one other car that has this kind of paint job on it right city. beautiful car buddy thank you and and you said it was made in canada it was made in canada <laughs> nice of course that's where all the Oh, I love that purr. And the nice, you, you got nice wheels. Look at those brakes. It's always nice when you can see uh, a nice red brakes in there. It's always funny watching Ken try to be macho in front of other guys. What you can see there, Ken, is the brake calipers. They contain the pistons that grip against the brake disc that causes the car to slow down. Canada sucks. Okay. Um, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not, not quite... I'm, I'm, I'm not a guy who pretends to know a lot about cars. Oh, no shit, Sherlock. Well, no shit. Jesus Christ, no shit, Sherlock. No shit, Sherlock. No shit, Sherlock. No shit, Sherlock. Oh, no, no, that was another guy. His name was Shit Sherlock. First name, no. No shit, Sherlock. No shit, Sherlock. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. But I know what a pretty car looks like, and that is a pretty car. Don't covet what your neighbors got. Warn and lack of big have not. Your life will turn to diddly squat, and everything will rot. And Ooh. Are you ready to eat? Yes, sir. Let's do it. Island Wing Grill and Bar. We'll probably have to eat outside. Just, uh, we'll see. After you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Hello, yeah. how you doing? What Ken Doofus video would not be complete without the obligatory secret 
filming of him entering and greeting a server while filming their behind. You really have to question how he doesn't see that as creepy footage when he's editing the B-roll for his videos. Ask for permission, doofus. It's not a hard concept. They'll either say yes or they'll say no. I hope you do realize, Ken, that there are laws in the United States that prohibit people like yourself from doing this secret filming. That is a form of uh, essentially sexual assault. All it would take is for one of these servers that you film their rear end, whether that was your intent or not, to file a complaint against you, and bam, you're in a world of trouble. First, first time here. Yes, I know. Yeah. It's by the fries are baked, the wings are baked. So, how many questions? That's a lot of beer. <laughs> wow. How many taps? Over 40. 40. 40, yes, sir. There's the proof that Ken doesn't actually listen to the people that give him information as he's strolling through the restaurant. She said that there was over 40 taps. He goes, awesome. And then a, a second later, he's like, how many did you say? And you have a lot of options here. You got the high top and the low top. What do you think, high top uh, or low top? Uh, low top yeah. Let's go low. Yeah, sure. Get comfortable. Thank you. My pleasure. For the menus, my dear. Thank you. What's What's the most ordered thing here? So the most ordered thing here is probably the definitely the wings. Um, yeah. Ahi <laughs> poke nachos are pretty popular. The what? Ahi poke nachos. What is that? There, it's right here. Uh, you have to be open. Oh. Ahi poke nachos. Oh my gosh. And the coconut crip, uh, shrimp is very popular. I've had the I've had the Ahi poke nachos before. Oh really? Uh, everything is good here. Oh, yeah. A little spicy. Um, to drink, we have Coke products, sweet tea and sweet tea. Um, could I get a water and a, um, and a, and a Diet Coke? Absolutely, yes, sir. I'll just do water, please. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Wow, lots of stuff. So you're saying this thing was awesome? This thing was absolutely Yeah. Amazing. Get baked. Get baked. One. What's that? Two. Three. three. Oh, mahi mahi. Four. four. Five. <laughs> oh. Five and a half pages, kind of. By my count, I get ten pages that have items that you can order. If a page is double-sided, it is not one page, you giant doofus. I'm nice. This. Yeah, oh, that's, I love Garpar. That's always a oh, yummy. Yeah. Thank you. I'm glad you have a water and sweet tea. I think because of you and Ryan talking about this, we we will get that and we're going to split that. Okay. Uh, is, do you want to get another appetizer or do you think, I think we maybe we could, do you like shrimp? Oh, I love shrimp. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I want to do that too because I love coconut shrimp. Absolutely. Me, 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 me. That's what that is right there. Rather than letting his guest pick an item, Ken has to immediately uh, decide, oh, there's coconut shrimp in the picture. I love that, so I'm going to make sure that that gets ordered, regardless of what Ryan may or may not care for. Yes, he asks if he, he does, but again, I feel Ryan is put on the spot. Yeah, just a little warning, the um, ahi poke nachos are a little spicy. Okay, so. I love spicy, yeah. Oh, yeah. We've all seen how you deal with spicy, Ken. Like, you play it up like there's no tomorrow in most instances. Oh, Mary! Mary! What have you done to me? Oh! That's fine. Yeah. Awesome. I'd like to give the discretion. Just sure, thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, he's had the ahi poke nachos and the crispy coconut shrimp. That'd be great. Mm -hmm. Um, What are you going to do for f your main dish? Um, Is there anything specific that you love here that you... It's a hard choice because yeah. because I I usually go to the I usually go to the burgers because their burgers are amazing here. But... And they're ten dollars today. What? Yeah. There you go. Well, look at how quickly the ears and excitement of the cheapskate really perked up. 
now I think Ryan feels almost compelled to have to order a burger because Ken's the one that's paying for this meal. Honestly, if I were Ryan, I would have picked the most expensive thing on the menu just to screw with Ken. And why not? After all, he is exploiting Ryan for money on the 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 big channel. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you guys a minute to live with okay. the pressure. Oh, sure. Thank you. First, okay? All right. Thank you so much. Thanks. So their burgers are dynamite, eh? The burgers are amazing. Pesto right? chicken sandwich, blackened, ahi, BLT. They have a, um, what a jerk chicken sandwich, too. Where is that? Right there. Oh, what a, what a jerk. <laughs> what a jerk. Whoa, Ken. A restaurant finally named a sandwich after you. Now that's an ooh la la moment. <laughs> and you've had that. I haven't had that. Oh, point out because you mentioned you like church chicken. Yeah. I've had uh, the uh, the thing that I uh, is a mac and cheese burger. Mac and cheese burger. Half pound steak burger pie with our amazing mac and cheese and topped with cheddar cheese and jalapenos to give it a kick. Wow. Mac and cheese burger. Look at that. That's it. No, is that it? No. Hmm, I'm really beginning to suspect that Ken cannot read. It specifically says right up in the top right hand corner, above where his finger is, the big boss. So no, that would not be the mac and cheese burger, doofus. That's the big boss. That's a no. Oh right, big boss. I mean, you can't go wrong. Classic. The bottom, the bottom. Oh, there it is. Good job, little buddy. <laughs> I love mahi mahi, black and mahi mahi. I love blue cheese too on my burger sometimes. The Baja fish looks is wonderful. I think I had the Mau, Maui Waui mahi. I think it's Many's with our specials on it, so you have one. Sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, it has like our specials, happy hour all day today, like ah. uh, lunch specials, so just you need to explore. Okay, thank Did you. Did you guys have any questions on like my preference, like what's popular or anything like that? Well, I'm, I'm struggling. Okay, that's what I'm here for. I got okay. Uh, what's your name again? Alanis. Al Alanis? Yeah, like Alanis Morissette. Alanis Morissette, yeah. Canadian. And <laughs> See, again, proof that he doesn't listen to the servers. She introduced herself, but he's too busy not giving a crap to retain her name. Bear with me. I know I talk fast, so tell, remind me to take a deep breath. Or... <laughs> I'm from Toronto, so... No, you're not, Ken. You live north of Toronto. About, oh, what, 45 minutes north of Toronto, something like that? In the shack in the Elf Village. I wonder if you're going to ever try and say that you're a famous Canadian YouTuber. Because if anything, you're an infamous YouTuber. Okay. I, I, chances are I might not be back here again so <laughs> oh. so I want to order like the best thing that I want to get here gotcha, uh, gotcha. and I love jerk so yeah. but uh, Ryan was telling me that this jerk what a jerk is good delicious my favorite my go-to that, that's your go-to? Yeah, the water jerk chicken sandwich is my, yeah. And I'm also Caribbean, so I love the jerk seasoning as well. Okay. So, would you do that or would you do a taco? The drum and jerk tacos are probably, like, if you were looking for tacos, definitely the drum and jerk or the Baja fish. But if we're going to stick with the chicken and jerk chicken, drum and jerk for sure. But the water jerk chicken sandwich, I like it because it has, you know, the the jerk seasoning on the bread, on the grilled chicken. And it also has, like, avocado. I think it has pineapple as well. Okay, I'm in. Wow, he finally takes the suggestion of a server. He always asks them for, uh, you know, what the, the most popular items are. But the majority of the time, he ignores what they say and goes with whatever he thinks is going to be better. Because, as he, he just said, he gets what he likes. <laughs> That's it. Sandwich? Yes, please. <laughs> Come right in. Thank you, your highness. Yes. So is everything on that okay? Sure. Make sure it comes out perfect for you. What are you gonna? I got the mac and cheese burger. Yeah. Oh yeah. And medium rare. Medium rare. And what are you doing as your side? Uh, I'm gonna. I am gonna do fries. Their fries are amazing. Yeah. Right? 
<laughs> Thanks, Alanis. Thank you. My pleasure, buddy. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Okay, so there. Oh, you can smell that. Wow. Yes. All right, guys, going in for the extreme close up. I'm going to go over here first because I, all I'm smelling right now is coconut. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, we've got the sauce. Beautiful, crispy coconut shrimp. And over here, we have got the what's it called again? Uh. <laughs> I, I think it's the Aussie tuna, I think. We'll just call it tuna. nachos. Yeah, tuna nachos. Tuna nachos. <laughs> See, what a foodie. He goes to the restaurants, orders something, but he doesn't take the time to uh, recall or document in his brain what it is he's going to be sampling and showcasing on his video. That is really helpful to your viewers, eh, Ken? It's just pure laziness and lack of care. He just doesn't care. For him, it's just all about the money that he's going to make from the views that he wants to get on the video. That looks great. Oh, it's so good. Let's eat. Yes. I'm going to actually just grab one of these. Oh, you go first. Guess first. What a joke. He never does that. But he's trying so hard to be a polite and charismatic person in this video when that's the furthest thing from the truth. You had years. We gave you years to, you know, to do this, Ken, and you absolutely refused at every turn. And now, all of a sudden, when the heat is so high and the views on your channel are so low, you decide, oh, maybe I should do what the, all the reaction channels are saying? Yeah, it's too little, too late, pal. I will grab one of these bad boys here. All right. And dip into the sauce. Yeah. Sometimes they have, uh, like, a sweet sauce in some of these places. Crispy, mm -hmm. yummy. The sauce was perfectly. Yeah. Oh, it looks like it actually does look like it. It's not like a traditional. Um, oh, yeah. This is what I was expecting it to be. So, what, just looking at it like that, it looks like your um, your regular shrimp sauce or or seafood sauce. Come on, Ken. You should have the name of the sauce on your brain because half the word is constantly always at the forefront of it it's cocktail sauce got a nice little kick to it yeah going in oh it's all butterflied out <laughs> mm. super spicy wow oh mary 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 what have you done to me Oh, Ken, you and your whole, wow, it's spicy, wow, is so nonsense. Yeah, that, that has definitely a kick to it. Yeah. And it's the sauce that has a kick, isn't it? Yeah, the sauce is amazing. The shrimp are very tender, very succulent. I love the word succulent. We all know Ken loves shrimp. You know, succulent shrimp with cocktail sauce succulent cocktail sauce shrimp succulent cocktail sauce put it in my mouth when you're talking about shrimp you give me a lot of shrimp yeah and it's, it's a nice big shrimp and that sauce is dynamite Is that your first time having these? Mm-hmm. Are you gonna order them again? Oh, big time, yeah. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Alanis, these are fantastic, by the way. I'm glad you're enjoying them. You don't mind being on camera, do you? Yeah, ask them after they're already on camera. Huh, dumbass? That's the real polite way to do it. As I said, you should have called ahead or in advance before doing any filming in their location asking permission of if they would allow you to just because someone says yes 
when you ask them that question, you realize that they're put on the spot when they're already on camera. That would be like you recording a phone call and then saying, oh, you, you don't mind that I'm recording this phone call, right? You realize that in certain states or, or uh, provinces or countries, it is illegal to record a phone call without divulging that beforehand. So the same applies to recording someone on video. Did you also notice how Ryan's face immediately changed when you asked that question? It went from him just eating and chewing his food to an expression of, oh my god, are we going to be in trouble because Ken didn't, you know, ask for permission? That's what it looks like to me because you turned Ryan into an accomplice. He knew that secret recording was going on so if you would have gotten in trouble Ken he would have been in as much trouble you don't think about the other people but I digress on this point I don't mind being okay. I'm sorry my hair's not done my little my hair's bigger. not done either <laughs> I want you to have it, frankly. Mortgage. <laughs> 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 Just ignore all that. Oh, yeah. Franchise, will there be more, Jack? You know, I hope so. There's 17 books. Mm -hmm. uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's a lot of cards. That's, yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> 17 so we'll books. We'll see. A couple months to <laughs> repay you for all you've done. You know, uh, Jimmy. <laughs> and everything is tasting delicious? Oh, right. everything is amazing. Excellent. So I guess those are chunks of tuna. Yes, sir. And there's a sauce all over it. Yes, sir. And it looks like uh, pineapple. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Got some scallions on there, too. Should that be a finger food, or should I use a knife or a fork? However you like. If you want to do messy or be a little classy, it's up to you. Nah, let's go messy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I like that. That's awesome. Yeah, Thank you. You guys enjoy the school. should be out surely as well. Thank you. Right. Thanks. Thanks. That was lame. Oh. That was lame. That was lame. Last time that was again. God, that was lame. Where did you get that? <laughs> Whoa! That was lame! That wasn't fun. That was lame. That was lame. That was lame. That was lame. Lame. Yeah, we're making a bunch more money. I can't believe it either. Not cool. Totally lame. It was offensive and lame. So double offensive. And you should just get the hell out of here. If you couldn't tell, Ken, Alanis was doing a fake laugh. a fake laugh, Ken. She wasn't really finding your little jokes to be actually hilarious. Mm. Yeah, wait till you get into, into these right here. This. Alright. I'm moving in. I had to beat you to it, sorry. Mm, <laughs> no, got first. Mm. It's good if you get two of the things and then scoop it on. That way, I guess you could use your knife too, but... So I got a little bit of everything on that one. The tuna is really nice. Close your mouth. Yeah. That sauce is very, very, um... Wow. Come on, Ken. Come on, Ken. You can do it. What? What's that sauce? It's very what? Uh, 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 what's wrong? The, the brain, the cogs in the brain just not 
moving around properly. You couldn't come up with a word to describe what the sauce was. That's typical because Ken's only got two words for literally everything. I'm honestly surprised you didn't just say tangy, tangy, tangy. It's so tangy. I'm gonna have to eat more of it because this stuff is powerful. Yeah, you can still, it's still some. It's, it's, it's lingering. Lingering, yeah. Yeah. And these are like wonton chips. They're not like, um. Like Nachos. Um, yeah. 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 Yeah, so they fry up, looks like they probably freshly fry up some uh, wonton pieces. Paul does the same thing for his uh, curry, chicken curry wraps at his oh. restaurant. Hmm. I got a nice big chunk of onion with that one. I'm going to continue using my fork, but I'm not going to put the fork in my mouth. I'm going to help separate so my fingers don't get too messy. Oh, oh yeah, I'm, I'm starting to get more flavors now. Now that uh, the shrimp sauce is slowly leaving my mouth. Mm. We should have started with that. Yeah. First time ever having anything like that, and it is fantastic. Oh. But is it spicy? Like, not. I can't tell because of this thing. No, this is more spicy. That sauce right there is more spicy than that. I'm trying to get that, that out of my mouth. Yeah, me. <laughs> I really want to see what this is, what I'm experiencing here. Ken, you don't know what you're experiencing ever. You you cannot convey to your viewers anything that you're eating because it's always the same thing. Golden brown, crispy, sometimes, uh, oh, sorry, you, no, you don't say crispy, you say crunchy. Perfectly fried, savory, succulent, of course, tangy. And then there's soft and spongy, which I don't know why anyone would really use the word spongy, because would you want to bite a dish sponge? I don't. That's not a texture I'd find pleasant, honestly. And then everything's either fantastic or phenomenal. So we probably lucked out with you eating something spicy that obliterated your taste buds because you just would have given a really crappy review or description. But the fact that there's freshly oh, the pineapple, oh, give me back that fish. <laughs> the, the type of sauce they put on here and that pineapple is just fantastic, 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 fantastic. Come on, I can do it. There we go. Mm. Nice and fresh. No, so th this it has a bit of a sweet flair to it as well. Again, once I get into it, uh, this is really making me uh, want more. I don't want to stop eating it. So it's doing its job, making me want to eat more. Wow, Brian, have you lost weight? You gotta tell me your secret. Here's a hint. Put down the fork! Face! <laughs> no, the food is not making you want to eat more. It's you telling yourself to eat more because you don't have any willpower to stop. Definitely addicting. Both of these are very good. If you want to go hot and spicy, that's where that's the direction you want to go. If you want to do something really neat and different, this is definitely the way to go. This is very unique. Definitely agree. Yeah, I've never ever seen anything like this before in my life. When you originally said tuna, I thought it was going to be like tuna from a can. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be super fresh, cut up cube tuna. Ah, oh, dang it, what an idiot! What an idiot. Stop acting like an idiot. An idiot. You're an idiot. Is idiot. Idiot. Oh. Idiot. Idiot. Hello? 
Idiot. Idiot. And you'll be sitting there like an idiot. Hey, idiot. Idiot. That idiot's been feeding us for a week. Idiot. 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 Don't be an idiot. Love them both. I'd order that again for sure. Oh yeah. You're right. You can get that just by just by itself. Yeah, yeah. That. Just have that in your car. Why would you want to eat that in your car? The vast majority of people are not like you, Ken. Well, he wanted to eat this in the car. So I think we could have, no? Mm -hmm. It would have rocked my car. I think so. Right. How are you supposed to eat this? Is... Well, you, you keep it in the in the, the wrapper. Or are you gonna I know, but as I, as I fold it out, uh, I'm just trying to, I want to like pick it up. Right. And then eat over the wrapper. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> Welcome to Moss Burger. <laughs> Welcome to Mass Burger. <laughs> yeah. we'll call it. You know what? I'm going to go crazy. Oh. Oh, yep. yeah. Oh, this is my car. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bud. It's not on your car. It's Dude. not a thing. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> We're going to do it. Here we go. Ready? Oh, no. Mm. 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 You can also get. Um, oh. What? <laughs> I saw some dropped there. Yeah, yeah there are lots oh, of yeah. onions. Yeah, yeah. I have my this stuff up here. Mmm. It's good. It's totally messy, but yeah. the idea is you keep it in the wrapper. I know, I know. I want people okay, okay, to see okay. it. I know, I know. You want to show them. And then you can use your fries to, oh, in so. lieu of ketchup, yeah. Lick the diaper. There you go. Case in point, you didn't care about Critical Eat Japan's vehicle as you were eating your Moss Burger. But when Paul wanted to eat that giant pizza slice in your car, you weren't going to have any of it saying that it would be too messy. Steering wheel tray? Yeah. Just remembering what the uh, the waitress said to us, she did warn us that this is a little bit spicy. And, uh, but again, we couldn't taste any spices in that <laughs> because this is really hot. So if you love tuna and wonton and pineapple, sesame seeds, and a little bit of sweet and spicy sauce, definitely order that. Last two, buddy. Cheers. You can do the, you can do the dip. Last dip first. More. <laughs> get all that. There you go. Yeah, you got to get in there, gush it around, make it drip. That's what people. That's the money shot. Mm. What? No ooh la la there, Ken. Now it's almost impossible to watch any of your videos without thinking of a sexual innuendo when you you say things like drip or money shot or you know uh dip it in there man got a lot of coconut shrimp yeah I all right I'm oh, more water don't, don't trip <laughs> that was so, awesome i'm glad you enjoyed it yeah. how about the ahi cooking nachos that was funny it took us a while to get that out of our mouth <laughs> to find out if that was spicy or not but yeah. it's spicy oh yeah. yeah oh yeah they're both really good though. and if there's two sauces on there yeah. Looks like one is like a spicy mayo, I think, and one's like um, a spicy garlic teriyaki. Yeah, yeah that's Both. what it looks like. Like, yeah, you can see like a cream sauce and then like a clear. Yes, sir. Yeah. It's very popular, but like I said, it is on the spicier end, so that's kind of like yeah, forewarning warning people. Yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna go check on the food. Can you guys need anything else right now? I'm good, thank yeah. you. Actually, can I grab you another straw? Or no, I don't need straw. Save this for those. Thank you. Yes. So, yeah, she was saying that there's uh, almost like a teriyaki kind of sauce on there, and then the spicy mayo. You can just see that they're swirling around. Combination of flavors, like, yeah. Uh, like, even if you're not a fan of raw fish, like, that'd be a good entry to that. That would be. Yeah, the first time I ever ordered sashimi kind of put me off a little bit. That's what your videos tend to do to a lot of people put them off of uh, feeling hungry. But it's also funny that you're trying to explain or differ differentiate between the two sauces that were on the the nachos uh earlier i think you referred to it as like a shrimp sauce or fish sauce when clearly it was a teriyaki so you don't know what the hell you're talking about as usual very unique and very delicious oh boy here we go make it a bit time Careful, gentlemen, the plates are hot. All right. I have that mac and cheeserburger for you, sir. Side of fries, no jalapenos. 
And I have a water jerk chicken sandwich. Yeah, but normally it would come with jalapenos. Yep. Yes, sir. And that's all you you took off of it? Yes, yes sir. I took it off. Yeah, pretty simple burger, but very delicious. Thank you. But this is the water jerk chicken sandwich with the. Uh, Yes, you enjoy. Looks beautiful. It. Oh, it's delicious. One of my favorites. Hats off to the chef. <laughs> I'll go give him a word. All right. Well, thanks. Does it work for me? Absolutely, I can. Thank you so much. Check that out. Ryan went with the mac and cheese burger, and over here we've got the. I thought it would be more cheesy. Maybe it is. I don't know. I thought it'd be like dripping cheese. Yeah, some of the cheese is like on the side oh, there. Okay, it's on the other side. Oh, I can see it on the bottom there. It's gonna be a little bit messy, but right. Typical Karen fashion for Ken, he has to find something to gripe about, to complain about before even, you know, trying the food. Granted, that's not even his burger, so I'm not sure what he's complaining about. Oh, and it's pasta that you were looking for, Ken. You, you couldn't think of that word. It's not noodles. We don't need another noodle gate on our hands. Uh, and then you've got your big patty. And we got those fries. The fries look nice and golden. Oh yeah. Are they are they as good? Nice. Thumbs Perfect. up from Ryan. All right, this is my lunch. I had the what a jerk, which is the jerk chicken sandwich, and we've got two rings of pineapple. We've got all of our fixins over here. Let me turn it so we can see that jerk chicken. Look at that. It looks juicy. It looks delicious. Got that bun, the bun's toasted. And we gotta try those fries like Ryan just did. And check out the loads of avocado. Nice, green, it'll be nice and creamy to add to that sandwich. Ryan, going in for the fries one more time. Cheers with the fry. Dang, cheers. Not only are you an idiot with the cheers and making him touch fries with you, but then you have to go an extra step and do ding! Like, come on. Are you 57 or are you five? Hmm. Lightly seasoned, nice and salty. First fry in like 36 days <laughs> or more. And they're baked. Yeah, oh, and they're baked. That's right. Nothing is deep fried. Just because it's baked doesn't mean that it's still a healthier item. It's probably got oil and uh, plenty of salt on it. And potatoes are also a carbohydrate. The fact that you refuse to pick a healthier side dish just shows how little you give a crap about your own health. I would not have noticed that these were baked. Yeah. For my first fry back from the carnivore diet, those are awesome. <laughs> Let's put these things together. See if we can take our first bites. Okay, Just trying to center it. There we go. We're centered. Tomatoes going in. Well, this is going to be too. This is going to be a mouthful for sure. Definitely kind of one of those roll up your sleeves kind yes, of Yes, this is definitely, holy, <laughs> it's all over me. <laughs> See, oh, don't fall over. The problem with uh, shredded lettuce, right? That's, yeah. That's the problem right there. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get my mouth around that, buddy. I am shocked at the self-containment you have with not using an ooh-la-la -la in this instance. You've done that in previous videos where you said that exact same phrase of not going to be able to get your mouth around it. Woo. Oh, yours looks pretty good. Yeah, yours is just as messy for sure. Yeah. All right, cheers. Cheers. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut, 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 shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up! 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 Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. 
Shut up. Guy, shut, up. shut 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 up. Wow. Mm. The chicken is juicy. The bun was super fresh. We all know that you like fresh buns, but that's what you always say. Oh, the bun was fresh. Or toasted. And do us all a favor and wipe your mouth. At least Ryan's been doing that. Because he's actually got manners. That first bite, got a lot of bun and uh, pineapple. But I definitely did get some of the jerk flavorings in there, and it is awesome. Oh, good. You, you said you had this one, or you haven't had this I one? I haven't had that one, but I've heard good yeah. reviews from it. Yeah. You already asked him that before you ordered it. And, what, 20 minutes later, you forget that he told you no, that he hadn't had it? Again, this is like the third time in this video that I've had to point out that people tell you something and you completely ignore what they said and then have to ask them a second time. Meanwhile, you've gotten ticked off when you've had to repeat yourself for others who have had to ask you something you've already told them a second time. Put that on your most wanted list. Oh, definitely. I got some avocado squeezing out the side. Nice. Thank you, my friend. I speak to you. Thank you. My pleasure. This is fantastic. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm glad to make a good recommendation. <laughs> How about your mac and cheese burger, sir? Great. It's amazing. Absolutely. Oh, I'm glad you guys like it. Yeah, great. great recommendation. So I guess they do the fries on like big pans or something or? Oh yeah. You know? Yeah, everything's like you do it on a big pan, they season it in a bowl and then we just throw it to keep them warm. That's awesome. Yes sir. How the fries? Oh, fantastic. Excellent. Bet you he asked her how they prep the fries because he wants to steal that so that he can force Carol to, to make them for him because he is such a terrible cook. What a great combination of flavors. I wouldn't have thought of putting the avocado on there. Well, first, that's because you're a moron and you don't know anything about food and how things go together. Secondly, the reason why they would do that is because the fat in the avocado and the creamy texture would act as a cooling mechanism against the jerk spices. That's kind of why guacamole is used in Mexican food, because of the spicy salsas and sauces. Like first, definitely the jerk chicken and, and uh, pineapple. That would be a, kind of like a no-brainer, but that extra flavor kick with the avocados is brilliant. Losing my... Uh, Losing your rings. My rings <laughs> on the side. Definitely don't come here with your favorite clothes on, because they're going to get messy. It's just like falling apart. <laughs> it's just raining lettuce and cheese. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. It's a nice, big, juicy brush, too. There's another spot where he would have usually put an ooh-la-la -la with the whole breast, the whole juicy breast thing. What's the matter, Ken? Did advertisers find that to be something that they don't want to put their advertisements on, so you were getting limited because of uh, the sexual innuendos? And we gotta go back a second because there was a regurgitated projectile. 
two, 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 two. So messy. Ryan's going in full four. Yeah, I have to. <laughs> it just falls apart. It's so, yeah. there's so much stuff on it. It's too big. All right, guys. Ryan and I are gonna polish off the rest of this food, and then we'll see you back in the car. Keep eating, buddy. Well, Ryan, I had an awesome meal. Thank you, kid. Man, it was that was amazing. It was amazing. I'm glad you, you recommended this place. I'm glad I came down to visit you. Um, I wish you all the best. Thank you. And uh, keep me informed and keep me up to date. And I'll, uh, if you want me to share what your progress when when uh, things, I will on my social media. If you want, you don't have to, of course. Nice little guilt trip you did there. You don't have to, of course. Yeah, Ryan knows that he's expected to share every little intimate detail about his surgery and his uh, medical issues because he knows that you want to exploit it all over your channel and your social medias for your own financial gains. It's so sad to see you do that to someone that wanted to just be your friend and who's been a fan of yours for so many years. I kind of hope that Ryan realizes the, the person that you are and eventually severs himself from your uh, just insane world. But uh, it was awesome meeting you in person, finally. Awesome meet you too, kid. I yeah. appreciate it, buddy. I appreciate all the support you've been giving our my channels or our channels for the last, I don't know, 10 years at oh, least. Yeah, yeah at which, least. Which, which video did you say was the first one you watched of mine? Oh, the T-Rex? The T-Rex burger, yeah. <laughs> the T-Rex burger. Who remembers the T-Rex burger? He does. <laughs> my stomach does too, anyway. Well, uh, thanks for uh, hosting me down here for for the day and uh, we went for a big walk along a pier watched a guy fishing with a big net that was kind of fun but then we ended up here at island wings and had a fantastic meal if you are ever in an area where there is a island wings i totally recommend hanging out here staff was amazing the food was brilliant kind of strange that he didn't show the cost breakdown of what he paid for this meal and we have no idea what Alanis got as a tip. She was so attentive and we saw multiple glasses. So they had uh, multiple refills of their drinks. And uh, I, I really, really hope that he over tipped her because she was just uh, so nice to them. But knowing Ken, he can be kind of stingy with the tip. Especially when he likes to go by the percentage as opposed to an actual dollar amount. But Ryan, if you're ever watching this, that's the only time that Ken's ever going to, to come visit you. He, as I said, just wants to exploit you. So you might want to reconsider um, that sort of decision moving forward. I wish you the best of luck uh, with your hip surgery and the recovery from it because uh, as someone that doesn't exploit others for you know my own gain when it comes to medical issues i do have a sympathetic uh heart for people that are going through significant health related issues but this was just typical ken as we see in any of his other videos he was, you know, kind of really, in my opinion, pressuring Ryan into divulging information. He was, again, filming without permission and then had the gall to ask the server if she was okay with being on camera after she was already on camera. But that's really all I have to say for this one. So until next time, this is KDDE signing out. Have a good one and be well. On point and the, the three things, four things that we ordered, try them all because I recommend every one of them to you. Oh, big time. Big, big time. time.
All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye. The Ken Domic Dissemination Expose channel would like to take a moment to thank its loyal KDDE community builders for their support of the channel. If you would like to see the channel continue to grow and offer new and unique content, then please consider hitting that join button. With a little bit of help from a whole lot of people, the sky is the limit on what can be done to combat the scourge of YouTube that is Ken Doofus. The one thing Ken Doofus hates to see is the channel gaining members. For just $1.99 per month, you can really piss Ken Doofus off.